Hi, it's Garden Yogi Juanita, and today I'm going to share with you some uh, breathing and yoga for lung health. I've noticed a lot of us, including myself, have gotten really sick, and mine just hit my sinuses really, really hard. All right, so we're going to sit in a comfortable position. You can sit in a chair, couch, bed, anywhere where you can really relax the hips and lengthen up through the spine. So you're going to relax the shoulders, maybe slightly move them back to open this space here. And we're going to take three deep cleansing breaths. And if you can't take in deep breaths, you can just take in however much of a breath you can. But each time that you take a breath, try to just sip it in a little bit more, or draw it in a little deeper. So let's start. So inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And try to relax your shoulders. Like I just realized I was holding tension in my shoulders when I took that breath in. So relax the shoulders. Take, let's go ahead and take those three breaths. Inhaling. Exhaling. Closing your eyes if that makes you feel more relaxed. Opening your eyes. All right, so we're going to do two poses. I'm going to make a little space. So I'm going to bring my right foot in front and take it a little farther back here so you can see that I'm a little cramped for space here, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to exhale and keeping my hands on my hips or my knees, I'm going to shift just my hips forward. You notice I'm not doing this. I don't want to drop all the weight into my lower back. I'm just simply moving my hips forward, bending my knee a little deeper here. And once we're here, you're either going to draw your arms straight up, or if you would like, and it's easier on your shoulders, you can move your arms out to the side and open this area here. So take three breaths, maybe even look up. Take one more breath here. And again, you notice I'm not just dropping and sticking my ribs out. I'm keeping my ribs kind of in. And I'm just really focused on this, the shoulders opening and maybe even lengthening up through the neck here. So let's go ahead and move that foot back and then bring the other foot forward. <coughs> Press into both feet, come back up onto your knee. And then exhale, shift forward. Either inhale your arms straight up, take the gaze slightly up, or you can again open the elbows out to the side. This time I'll keep my arms up. And then exhale, bring your hands down. I'm going to move my left foot back. Now I'm going to bring, I'm going to use some blocks. So, and I, I like these cork blocks better. This, these styrofoam ones, I don't recommend. They can easily just kind of pop out from under you because they're so light, but you know, in a pinch, I'll use it. So I'm going to put the blocks on the side of each knee. And we're coming into a modified camel pose. So I'm going to root down into my knees and bottom of my legs. And I have really long arms, so my fingers can touch the blocks. If you can't touch the blocks, then maybe bring your hands to your hips. And what we're going to do is, again, that action of opening the ribs, or open out the ribs, but the front body. So if you can, 
you can bring your hands down and I'm moving my shoulders back and I might even want the blocks a little farther back from my my knees and I'm pushing my pelvis slightly forward but I'm also opening so imagine this is lengthening up from the pubic bone all the way to the chin so this way I'm and I'm hugging my knees in together so my legs are really working here if I have my hands on my hips then I'm still pushing my pelvis forward, hugging my knees together, relaxing my shoulders as much as I can. And then inhale, bring yourself back up. Come on to your heels and then take child's pose for a breath or two. And then inhale, come back up, come back to your seated position. Just take another breath or two, maybe just letting the breath gently move in, closing your eyes, taking a moment of pause. And then gently opening your eyes. Thank you, have a wonderful day. Uh, I'll try to post this on Instagram, but if it's too long, uh, the full video will be on my YouTube channel, which is on, uh, if you search Garden Yogi Juanita, you should be able to find my channel. All right, well, take care, have a great day.